Chad Withrow's top games of the college football weekend starts where? Let's get after it, boys. Let's get after it. Because Paul is so blinded by the light of my games of the week, we've cut it in half. We've, we've, we've got five and you five. You can still have a seizure. This you time. can have two so seizures. You, not, it's not <laughs> a color seizures. overload for Paul uh, when we look at the graphic. But if you're listening, I'll tell you where we're going to go first. And it's where Outkick the Tailgate is going tomorrow. Athens, Georgia. Kentucky at Georgia. Paul's going to hate this. Because it's currently a 21-and-a-half point, yeah. point spread. It's not the game of the week. But I also can't go away from the fact that it's the only two unbeaten teams in America's premier conference playing each other. Kentucky and Georgia. If I told you preseason, we'd be here in mid-October and the last two unbeatens would be playing and it would be Kentucky and Georgia, you'd say I'm crazy. You'd also say I'm crazy if I said Kentucky can win this game. And I'm not going to say that because I don't think that they can. But I also thought that Texas A&M had no shot a week ago against Alabama. So crazy things happen. But number 11, Kentucky at number one, Georgia. Number one on my list. 3.30 Eastern time kickoff on CBS for that one. It's a close second because Oklahoma State at Texas, big time game in the Big 12. This is offense versus defense. Texas under Steve Sarkeesian has gotten things rolling. Since they made the change at quarterback and the way they get Bajan Robinson involved in that offense, they have been scoring a ton of points. Oklahoma State, you think Oklahoma State, you think Mike Gundy, you usually think offense. This is a great defensive team. Best defensive team in the Big 12 so far. And Chad, how many times have we seen Gundy go to Austin and win? They do it often. Recent, I mean, as of late, Gundy wins against Texas. Uh, they, this will be the game of the week. Gundy has a propensity to win big games in a big setting and lose games he should not at times at Oklahoma State. Maybe this is Gundy's moment. This is the big noon kickoff on Fox, uh, noon Eastern time, Oklahoma State and Texas. Well, I, I, I think we've talked about Oklahoma State probably as little as any top 25 team in the country this year. What, yeah, have it they is, done anything? It is, it is incredible. Um, but you're right, Paul. I don't think they've been – in one of my top 10 games so far uh, uh, this year. Here's what they do. They're, they play great defense. Uh, again, you think Oklahoma State, typically you think offense. Uh, that is not the case uh, with this team. They, they are they great They Boise State by a point. I'm looking to see. Well, their know, big win is Baylor. Yeah. yeah, and Baylor's 5-1 and one also, and uh, we may get to Baylor uh, later in this list as well. But, yeah, 24-14 win over Baylor. Uh, Kansas State – Another good win. They beat them 31-20. to 20. Um, Tulsa's a good team. Not a great team. They had a close win over them. I mean, they've won some pretty close games so far to get to this point to be undefeated. But it's clear the buy-in from everyone isn't complete because you're not going to find many Power 5 teams that are undefeated at number 12. Kentucky's undefeated at number 11, one spot ahead of them. This is a big prove-it game for them. They're 5-0 and for the first time since 2015, and they are looking for their third straight win over a ranked opponent. Did Gundy trim the mullet? Yes. I feel like it's, it's, it's still sort of a mullet, but it's not as thick as it was a year ago. It's a business ago. approach. It's a, it's a business trip, Chad. Maybe, maybe this business approach by Gundy <laughs> is why Oklahoma State's undefeated right now. Who knows? Uh, no business approach from Lane Kiffin. Strike usually. up the band for number three. It's all, it's all fun for Lane Kiffin, and this game should be all fun. Number 13, Ole Miss at Tennessee, my third biggest game of the week. This is another one of those that if I would have said in August, Tennessee's got a good shot at beating Ole Miss, you'd say I'm crazy. And you'd especially say I'm crazy if I said this is the third biggest game of the week, not just in the SEC, but in college football uh, in mid-October. And, and that's what it is. Uh, it's going to be an incredible environment in Knoxville. Checker Neyland, the return of Lane Kiffin. Ole Miss is putting up a ton of points. Tennessee's putting up a ton of points. This game features the number one and number two quarterbacks in America in QBR. And, oh, by the way, the guy who's going to be a high first-round draft pick, Matt Corral, is number two. Hendon Hooker, number one in the nation in QBR. Ole Miss is not stopping many people defensively. Tennessee is stopping some people defensively, but they've not seen Ole Miss yet. They have not seen an offense like this. They have not seen a quarterback like this. This has shootout written all over at 7.30 Eastern Time, the, SEC Network. The over-under 
earlier this week was at 79. It is now at 83 and a half. We'll hear from 82 and a half on FanDuel right now. We'll hear from the VolQuest guys a little bit later. Uh, Their first prediction I saw from Rob Lewis was Tennessee winning 54 to 51. In this game, you going under? Huh? So you could have the. I took the under. In that case, you could have the over under at one hundred and four and be okay if you went with the over yeah. in that one. So should be a lot of points. This should be a lot of fun. It's definitely going to be a good atmosphere in Knoxville. Fourth biggest game of the week. I love this game. Auburn at Arkansas. I got Auburn on the money line. I, I think they're more talented than Arkansas. I think the lack of talent at Arkansas is going to start to show up. At some point, maybe it started to show up in that close loss to Ole Miss. I think Auburn goes in there and wins. I, I think they bounce back better after a loss to Georgia than Arkansas did. And look, Arkansas played well last week, put up a ton of points, lost a close game to at Ole Miss. No shame in that at all. This is got to. This is going to be a great game. CBS. It's the it's the reverse doubleheader on CBS. You had the two thirty seven p.m. doubleheader last week. This week you've got the eleven a.m. 2.30 Central Time doubleheader. I'm looking for that one to be a really good one. Arkansas, oh, excuse me, Auburn at number 17, Arkansas. I want to believe in Arkansas bouncing back and picking up where they were earlier this season because it's a good story. Well, I think, they, they bounced back against Ole Miss. I mean, the, yeah. the, the, the shutout loss to Georgia on national TV with all the hype, they, I mean, they bounced back. Yeah, they, but didn't they didn't win, win, but they put up 51 points. Well, I'm talking about And they back went for the, the win on the final play of the game. Yeah, they rushed uh, 50 times at 6.5 yards a carry. I think over 400 yards in that game rushing. Uh, again, this one I think should be really, really close. Arkansas, I want to say a four and a half point favorite in this game. In fact, they are four and a half point favorite at home against Auburn. My, that's my fourth biggest game of the week. Number five, this is a sneaky game in the ACC. Pittsburgh, at last check, and they still are at FanDuel, they are the Vegas favorite to win the ACC right now, believe it or not. This is a team that has looked really good at times. They have the best offense in America. They went to Knoxville and won. That win looks really good now, the way Tennessee's been playing for Pitt. They also lost to Western Michigan at home in a shootout. But Pitt at Virginia Tech... This is a uh, Pittsburgh is a five point favorite in this game. Kenny Pickett, one of the best quarterbacks in the country, can improve his resume as he gets ready to go into the NFL draft. Virginia Tech always a tough place to play. Virginia Tech, by the way, a little bummed out that they don't have Hendon Hooker on their team. Uh, I know that's been the message board talk is that they let one get away, and Tennessee is finally seeing the other end of it. Of oh, you mean you can take a transfer and they can be a lot better for you than the other way around, where it's usually people leave their program and become better all of a sudden. Uh, Virginia Tech's having a tough time on offense this year. I still think it's going to be a really good game. That's a 3.30 Eastern kickoff on ESPN2.